Hi, my name's Kevin Hughes. I'm the Accreditation Manager at HME. I'm here today to talk to you about machine conformity and how HME can help you out. With regards to the machine conformities, if you've maintained any of the equipment, again, this should be shown in a logbook or a maintenance sheet that you have and should be left near the machine so that the engineer can see it. If you have carried out any maintenance, make sure that all guards, hoods are replaced correctly. Again, it is not the engineer's job to carry out the conformity to replace these items. Though often HME will do this so that you are compliant. Emergency stops. They don't have to be foot stops, but obviously in education, the pupils mostly use both hands on a lot of the machines. So it is an advantage to have foot stops as well as emergency stops. But you must remember if you have an emergency stop, you must be able to activate it with the flat of the hand and it should be easily positioned for the pupil to reach. Often starters of machinery, you have to reach into them on some of the eBay items that some schools get. So you need to be aware of this and your risk assessment should cover that.